kwa sababu baadhi ya watoto pale ni wametoka kwenye orphanage mm-hmm. umeona na niliona ni vijana ambao wana uwezo zaidi wakipewa wakipata wakipewa platform, wakipewa platform. Mm-hmm. so mimi nikaona kwenye wimbo niliona nisitokee mimi ni wauze mm-hmm. wao sana mm-hmm. na ni kitu ambacho najivunia kusema kwamba kile succeed kwa sababu hawa vijana mm-hmm. uh, wameonekana kwenye baada ya video ulionekana mm-hmm. kwenye video nyingi sana oh, ya yeah, hata ile ya moji short baba mm-hmm. hawa vijana walikuwa kwenye walikuwa hapo kwenye video mm-hmm. so ni kitu ambacho mimi nilifanya kwa upendo wangu kwa watoto kwamba nataka siwezi nikamwambia uh, hata nikimpata 1500 ama ngapi mm-hmm. sijafanya kitu lakini nikimpa kitu ambacho atakuwa kinikumbuka nacho kwamba mm-hmm. alinifungulia njia mm-hmm. na hisi kwamba anatabarikiwa zaidi okay. so in the music industry that is both secular and uh, gospel there's there have been issues of piracy yeah. na watu wamepigana sana waweze like to fight these these vice because unapata sababu ya piracy sometimes musicians are not able to benefit from their own from their own work. Yeah. So what, what what would you say what do you think is the best way to go as far as piracy is concerned? Unajua cha kwanza naweza sema kwamba ukisheheshimu kazi ya mtu mwingine mm-hmm. na hisi uta utafanya kitu kumdhulumu. Mm-hmm. Yule mtu ambaye anafanya piracy ni kitu ambacho kivyangu tunaweza tukai control mm-hmm. kulingana na mimi. Mm-hmm. Iki, ikiwa kama mtu mwingine atajua kwamba sheria imeanzia hapa ikaishia mm-hmm. mali fulani. Mm-hmm na pia kwa kwa mbinu ambazo zitamfanya mtu ambaye anataka kufanyiwa Paris mm-hmm. awe ni mtu ambaye labda sijui nitasema vipi mm-hmm. lakini ni mtu ambaye labda awe amejielewa zaidi kwamba kitu kinachokifanya mm-hmm. madhara yake ni haya okay. na hizi kwamba kwa kukiwa na sheria um huyu mtu atashindwa kufanya hiyo Paris atakuwa ni angalia hivi mara mbili kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho kina kina athari zake kwa wasanii mm-hmm. unapata msanii umetengeneza jina kubwa lakini ile jina ile ndani kuna mtu ambaye anakuja ana yeye mwenyewe ndo ana enjoy kulingana mm-hmm. na wewe mm-hmm. sema uh, pia wana kwa kingine kwa sababu unapata maybe upcoming ame release ngoma huko mta muziki labda ijulikani mtu amesikia ameona ni vizuri ameenda amechapisha kopi zake ameuza ametengeneza ile jam- jina lakini ukimtengenezea msanii jina bila hicho e, kitu kingine huko nyuma unajua pia ina madhara yake kwa sababu unajua kuingia studio ni hela ya yeah. e, kufanya video pia ni kazi na pia msanii kuna vitu ambazo wanafaa kuziweka zikaisawa ndo ile usanii kamilike mm-hmm. ndio okay pengine kuna mtu pale nje anaona ya kwamba anataka kufanya muziki mm-hmm. lakini ana kazi zingine pengine yeye ni mwalimu mm-hmm. pengine yeye mkulima ndio pengine yeye ni nesi ndio uh, and they feel that i i want to do music but i do, i also want to do music and do teaching yeah. inawezekana inawezekana mm-hmm. tena kwa sana mm-hmm. lakini kuna mtu aliandika akasema you can't serve two masters mm-hmm. cha cha kwanza mm-hmm. cha pili mimi husema kwamba change your passion to be your career mm-hmm. ukifanya kitu ambacho unakipenda kwa muda mrefu unaona kwamba ukikifanya huchoki mm-hmm hiyo ni kitu ambacho na Yesu unafaa kukifanya kwa sababu kitakufanya hata mwenyewe utanenepa bila kula. Okay. Na ukifanya kitu kwa sababu umelazimishwa na Yesu utaenda mbali. Lakini kama umeona kwamba mziki ni kitu kikubwa kwa damu, mm-hmm. kwa nini usifanye? Ingia studio ufanye kazi. Kuna watu ambao nje ni madaktari lakini bado anaingia studio mm-hmm. anafanya kazi. Kuna mtu ambaye labda ni dereva wa taxi mm-hmm. lakini baada ya siku anaingia studio anaimba. So kama unaona kwamba ni wito wa kipaji unacho, mm-hmm. ingia studio ufanye kazi yako. Kwa hivyo sasa wewe do you do music full time or do you do music and other things? I do music Mm-hmm. Uh, tuseme kama um, trikota ya mambo ambayo unayafanya lakini pia si unajua pale mbele umeanza na mwalimu mm-hmm. then zila hiyo mm-hmm. mwalimu ina ina mambo yake mm-hmm. I, I usually go to schools mm-hmm. tunaenda kwenye mashule mm-hmm. tunaongea na, 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 na watu mm-hmm. kwa sababu naisi kuomri wangu nikiongea na youth itakuwa very sana yeah, kucommunicate ku connect kwa sababu tuko kwa the same same era mm-hmm. so hiyo ni kitu ambacho nakifanyaga pia ne, ne, kwenye mashule tunapiga story nani tunasaidiana kimawazo mm-hmm. Aya, alafu siku zinasonga okay before we talk about uh, your future plans uh, as far as music industry is concerned yeah. Juzi tu tumepata tu hapa hashtag play Kenyan music. Yeah. Watu wameteta uh, 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 local media is not promoting Kenyan music. Yeah. Uh, watu wengine wameteta wakasema it's not the media, the musicians don't have good content. Musicians wameza kukuja wakasema sisi we, for us we have good content. Ni nyinyi ndio ambao mtupi time. Yeah. So what are your set- sentiments on that and w- uh, what do you think is a better way that can be used uh, to promote our local talent both in acting na pia music? Najua swala hili limeongelewa sana. Mm-hmm. 
na kulingana na mimi kitu ambacho nitakachosema ni kwamba tusinyoshiane vidole mm-hmm. tukilaumiana mm-hmm. inafaa tuketi chini tujue tumekosea wapi na wapi turekebishe ndio tusonge mbele mm-hmm. kwa sababu hii hapa ni kama tuko kwenye mashua mm-hmm. tuko kwenye uh, ship mm-hmm. tuna sail to the other end yeah. na kumetokea hatari so tukianza kusema oh huyu ndo amefanya hivi huyu amefanya mm-hmm. tutazama mm-hmm. lakini tukisema okay tume tu, 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 kwenye tatizo mm-hmm. tafanya nini tutoke hapa huyu achangie moja achangia pili huyu achangia tatu unahisi kama tuta move forward yeah. najua kama msanii una kazi ya kuifanya mm-hmm. ndo presenter pale nje mm-hmm. afurahie mm-hmm. na pia kama presenter ana kazi ya kuifanya mm-hmm. ndo mashabiki pia wafurahie mm-hmm. umeona mm-hmm. kwa sababu at the end of the day consumer pale nje anamsikiza presenter mm-hmm. umeona so naisi kwamba ni connection between the two the two chain mm-hmm. it it bring the product paka kwenye kuma consume mm-hmm. so cha kufanya cha msingi ni kuhakikisha kama msanii ingia ingia kwenye ukiingia studio kitu cha kwanza hakikisha kwamba ufanya kazi nzuri mm-hmm. fanya kazi nzuri do your part okay. mpatie presenter mm-hmm. presenter akiicheza mm-hmm. itakuwa ni faida kwako okay. labda ile ni goodwill na hisi kwamba presenters pia ni watu ambao labda wana akili timamu sio watu mm-hmm. ambao labda ni tarii ama nini yeah. akiona kazi ni nzuri aicheza yeah, okay. lakini tukianza kuimba vitu ambazo presenter mwenyewe anaona hebu kuisikiza mm-hmm. ama anaona nikiicheza pale nje mzazi labda na mtoto atakuwa anaangalia station kweli mm-hmm. itakuwa ni jambo la aibu so artist tufanye kazi yetu presenters pia wafanye kazi yao alafu na hisi at the end of the day itakuwa tumefanya kazi nzuri ndio mm-hmm. uh, so k- kila mtu aki when you start something you have dreams when you start something you have plans kuna mali ambapo unataka ufike mwakani kuna mali ambapo unataka ufike in 2 years or 3 years time ndio unataka ni mtu wa UP ambaye ni mwimbaji UP wa injili unatamani sana kufanya kazi na yeye either in Kenya or outside Kenya paka sasa hivi kuna wasanii wawili ambao nawakubali sana mm-hmm. na wote ni wakike mm-hmm. Gloria Muliro mm-hmm. na size 8 mm-hmm. kwa sababu nilikaa chini nikaona ni watu ambao walisikiza wito kwa makini mm-hmm. hawajapotea mm-hmm. na kuna wengi ambao ma gospel artists tunapotea alafu tunashindwa kurudi. Mm-hmm. So ni wasanii ambao nili niliona ni wasanii ambao wana uwezo sana mm-hmm. na wana ubiri injili wa haki. Mm-hmm. Ndio. Mm-hmm. So what what do you hope to, to have achieved? By the time umefika ile siku ambayo utafika useme haya sawa nime na, nasikia sasa nimeimba ya kutosha. Nimeubiri nime nimeita nime watu kwenye like in the kingdom of God and what, what achievements? What achievement do you want to make? What legacy do you want to leave behind by the time you you're like oh, it's okay now I, I can now mentor people I can help people sing. Unajua cha kustajabisha mm-hmm. sanaa ina madhara yake. Mm-hmm. Ikisha kuingia kwenye damu mm-hmm. ni kama jua. Mm-hmm. Hakuna ile siku jua itakosa. Mm-hmm. Kuamka kwa ama yende ikatue ndio mm-hmm. unajua. Mm-hmm. So sanaa mimi ni kitu ambacho labda ile siku ya mwisho ambayo ndasema okay sasa hapa mm-hmm. labda naipiga teke uso wa dunia mm-hmm. ndo nitachana nao kwa sababu unapata labda hata kuna wale wazee waliimba mbele yetu mm-hmm. lakini paka sasa hivi gita labda iko pale yeah, anacheza ni, 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 anacheza, anacheza mm-hmm. na anakuchezea na kuimbia vizuri sana unaweza fikiri hata nyimbo ni ya juzi juzi mm-hmm. so kulingana na mimi sijakaa labda nikafikiria labda nitakuja kuacha sana hata nikiwa na miaka ngapi mm-hmm. ni kitu ambacho nitakuwa naimba hata pale kitandani mm-hmm. naimbia labda wajuku na vitu kuu mm-hmm. Mungu akiniwezesha lakini what legacy do you want to leave unataka yani watu wakisema mwalimu Zila alikuwa mwimbaji wa injili mm-hmm. what do you want them to remember you for unajua mimi siangalia watu wana, 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 wanafanya nini mm-hmm. na angalia mimi nitafanya nini mm-hmm. na kwenye gospel industry sijakuja labda kubishana na mtu ama kumtoa mtu fulani mm-hmm. lakini nimekuja kuongeza kitu ambacho na hisi ya kipo mm-hmm. so kitu ambacho nitaomba sana watu wanikumbuke nayo mm-hmm. ningeomba sana wanikumbuke kwamba huyo ndo msanii ambaye mziki wake hauchuji yani hauishi ladha mm-hmm. umeona okay. ni mziki ambao utachezwa leo baada ya miaka kumi bado ukija kucheza unahisi bado ni mtamu baada ya miaka zingine 20 bado unahisi ni mtamu mm-hmm. kwa sababu ni mziki ambao sifanyi kwa sababu vitu zime trend okay. nafanya kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho unahisi kina ujumbe mm-hmm. ndio okay now as as you wind up what do you probably wewe sasa kuna watu pale nje wanakuangalia yeah. kuna mtu pale nyumbani anatamani sana ningependa sana nianze kuimba kama kama mwalimu zila yeah. na anataka ingie kwenye hii industry we know our, ind- our music industry is doing good yeah. but what what do you think as an artist can be done to make it better 
kitu cha kwanza kama msanii ambao labda unataka kwenda kuingia kufanya studio studio mm-hmm. ni kitu cha maana sana mm-hmm. lazima uingie kwa studio ambayo huyu mtu anajua kazi mm-hmm. unajua kwa sababu sasa hivi pia competition imekuwa kubwa sana kwenye contents kwenye beats kwenye okay. mastering mm-hmm. kwenye nini so ukiingia kwenye mtu ambaye labda anataka kujifunza na wewe mtakaa hapo mtakaa hapo milele daima okay. so unafaa kuingia kwa mtu ambaye anajua akikusikiza anajua unahitaji nini okay alafu mnashauriana alafu inatoa inakuwa kazi safi okay i thank you very much for finding time kuja kuweza kuzungumza na sisi we wish you i wish you all the best in your music industry Asante. in your music career Ndiyo. kwa hivyo for people who are watching as a tom you've heard from him you can do a lot of things if you want to sing just plan yourself have a plan brand yourself in the best way and the music industry is just waiting on you so that is all we have for you on Y254 news my name is patricia moriyoki do have yourselves a very good night <laughs>